The Johnson County Solid Waste Commission is currently accepting artwork for its third annual Anti-Littering Student Art Contest. The contest is open to students in kindergarten through 12th grade, and the top two in each category will receive a cash prize. As we provide programming in our community for solid waste, to address our solid waste issues, we do a whole, whole host of programs. But we also recognize, too, that if we're going to change the culture and change the thinking with respect to properly disposing of solid waste in our community, we have to have an educational component to the programs that we offer. And so the Solid Waste Commission said, you know, we're better to educate than obviously an educational institution. So we're, we need to get into the schools. Well, it's not just a matter. We don't want the kids just to hear a lecture from us about, you know, don't throw your trash out. We want to we want to try to make it as real to them as we can. And so they came up with the idea to have the art contest. And again, it's our third year. Um, for doing so. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The contest is open to all Johnson County students regardless of attending private, public, or home school. Art may be created through any medium including paint, drawing, digital images, video, and TikTok. Every year they try to choose a theme that kind of tries to get attention. This year they chose love with action, clean our earth, basically put, you know, put, put it to work, you know, uh, take the actions necessary to obviously have uh, the cleanest environment that we possibly can. We think that's just what our responsibility is to try to encourage folks to properly dispose of their unwanted waste and, and uh, solid waste and trash. Submissions are due March 8th. For more information and to receive an official entry form, contact your student's school. Reporting for Mountaintop News. I'm Brianna Robinson.